They have to pay her. The Seven Beauties is the first of the five narrative poems of the Hamsa, created by the poet and philosopher Nizami Yanjabi. The poem tells the story of the legendary 5th century Sasanian king Bahram Du and his progress towards wisdom, as well as enlivened by many adventures and by the seven tales love stories told by his seven brides. The poem is distinguished by a number of non-linear plots and is full of symbolism and hidden meaning. The tale is believed to contain the poet's own views on love and emphasizes the importance of self-knowledge. Rise at the court of an Arab king, Bahram Gul one day found his way into Lak Palace room, where he encountered seven portraits of seven princesses representing the seven climes of antiquity. After becoming king, Bahram Gur took the seven beauties from different corners of the earth, from Byzantium to India, as brides. His architect is ordered to construct seven domes for each of his new brides. The architect tells him that each of the seven climes is ruled by one of the seven planets and advises him to assure good fortune by adorning domes with the color that is associated with each climb and planet. He visited his brides on successive days of the week, dressed in robes that matched the color associated with each pavilion. His week began on Saturday, which astrological color is black. Saturday is the day of Saturn, when King Bahram visits Furak, the daughter of the Raja of India. In her black pavilion, Furak welcomes Bahram, who dressed in black, and seductively starts to narrate the story of unfulfilled love of the divine king, describing color of black as the most beautiful of all colors, the color of dark night that lets the moon shine brighter because only at night can one's lustful dreams be fulfilled. On Sunday, one sunset bursts in gold colors. Dressing in gold with his golden crown and golden ring, Bahram enters to the yellow pavilion of Yahmanas, the daughter of Roman Caesar. She narrates the story of the Mesopotamian king who did not want to marry and associates yellow at the royal color of gold, which represents affluence and is associated with several positive qualities. Monday or Monday, dressed entirely in green, King Bahram visits Nas Pari, the daughter of the king of Parazan. She tries to persuade Bahram that green is the best color to represent love, and narrates the story of lovesick Bishop, a scholar longing to find a woman that he once saw in part and could not forget for years. Green is the color of the cypress tree. Green is what our soul longs for above all, and the sign of well-being. Red Planet Mars, the story which is the heart of the poem, narrated on Tuesday by Nasrin Nunj, the daughter of the king of the Slavs. In her fable, Nasrin Nunj talks about Slavonian princess Turandot's riddles. Princess sets three conditions for a future husband, who will have to raise his life to answer her riddles. She will only belong to a ruler who shows qualities of courage, endurance, wisdom, and honesty. Like the stories, the Slavonic prince's tale is educative, containing an important message for King Bahram. To rule his kingdom effectively, he will need to possess great wisdom, read the soul of life, the color of blood, read the source of all beauty. The red rose would not be the queen of the garden, without his purple gown. On Wednesday, the day of Mercury, King Bahram visits Azer Gyun, the daughter of the King of Morocco, in her turquoise pavilion. She narrates the story of the adventures of Hansom Mahan, a man who started to wear exclusively blue clothing as a reminder of his salvation from the demons, when after, he convinced that he was no longer alive. Blue is the color of heaven, who has sent as his guest, reflecting fire of heaven upon this earth. Thursday is the day when Princess Humai, the daughter of the Hagan of Turks, welcomes Bahram into her sandalwood pavilion to narrate the story about the struggle between good and bad. King chose his garments and his cob, the color of sandalwood, and moved to the scholared palaces. Diroste is a beautiful Iranian princess from the house of Kay Kavus. Dressed in all white, 
Bahram steps into the white castle of the Iranian beauty on Friday, the day of Venus. She greets him and starts a story of tribulations, of the lovers which concludes with happy, innocent white. White is a color of purity and innocence. Only crystal clear water is tasty. White jasmine has a delicate fragrance. They is clear as white, and while all the colors have some flaws, white remains untarnished. White is the color of marriage, and in white we stand before the creator. While the king is busy with the seven brides, his evil leader seizes power in the realm. He starts investigating the corrupt minister, and from the multitude of complaints is select seven, who tell him the injustice they have suffered. The minister is subsequently put to death, and Bahram Gyur restores justice as well as orders the seven pleasure domes to be converted to fire temples for the pleasure of God. Bahram then goes hunting for the last time, but mysteriously disappears. As upon him words, while trying to hunt the wild ass, he instead finds his tomb. In this poem, colors used to represent seven stages of love of the Sufi tradition and the evolution from black to white, from the most lasting and simple feeling to the purest form. The Seven Beauties poem by Nizami Ganjari contains examples of the symbols of Eastern wisdom and poetic eloquence. It's also one of the rare instances of early multiculturalism whose timeless and geographical reach has influenced countless generations. Nizami was one of the earliest advocates of multiculturalism and gender equality, the ideas that were far ahead of his time.